Yeah, the the Alabama team in camp for the first day on Friday. And, um, you know, I just have to think that this um, this group is armed and ready and motivated to make amends for what happened at the end of last season. A successful season by all accounts for every other program in the country, except yeah. for them for the most part. Well, and, and even with as many guys as they've got coming back, I mean, they've got like nine of 11 starters coming back on defense. Uh, you've got the Heisman Trophy, Bryce Young, coming back uh, on uh, uh, as far as the offense is concerned. But there's still going to be some very interesting battles, and we won't go into great detail with this. But 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 watch the wide receiver battle. Uh, I think it's going to be fascinating, to say the least, maybe with a, uh, a uh, healthy JoJo Earl, uh, Jermaine Burton, the Georgia transfer, coming over. I think it's going to be fascinating. Uh, offensive tackle, where are they going to go as far as the offensive tackle is is going to be concerned? Looking at some young guys, J.C. Latham, Tommy Brockenmeyer, uh, just to name a few. I know that Damian George played a little bit last year. Uh, inside linebacker uh, with Christian Harris leaving, that's going to be interesting uh, to see kind of where that goes. Uh, also, cornerback. Uh, we know uh, about Josh Job, Jalen Armour Davis leaving for the NFL. Kool Aid McKinstry would be back. He is going to be a mainstay and a real star. Kyrie Jackson, who saw a time in the uh, the national championship game, Mark, probably before he needed to <laughs> and wanted to, frankly, but he still got out there. And uh, uh, Teron Arnold is going to be very important. And running back, Brian Robinson is gone. Uh, to the NFL, and he's going to make a team. He, he is, uh, you know, he's not flashy. He's not going to run a four-two or anything like that. But he, but he is an all-purpose back in a lot of ways. Trey Sanders, Jameer Gibbs, the Georgia Tech transfer, uh, among others, at, at running back. So the tide is loaded, Mark. But but don't think for a minute there won't be a lot of uh, position battles as they get on into the spring. I'm fascinated by that wide receiver group, as you've mentioned off the top, because it's been the best group in college football for the past four or five years. Jamison Williams, John Mechie were dynamite in replacing the legendary guys, the first round picks that they had before. But of course, Mechie gone for the playoffs. Williams gets hurt in the national championship game. And we saw a prime example of replacing four and five stars with four and five stars that don't have the experience right. and have yet to prove it. And Bryce Young threw some dimes that were dropped in that title game that could have proven com a, a completely different ball game had they been held on to. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. I, and, and, I mean, Treshawn Holden and Jai Hall are guys that uh, they've got immense talent uh, to go along with Ja'Cory Brooks, who caught the, uh, the, the late touchdown against Auburn. Uh, but that's going to be very important. And uh, uh, very quickly here, I think we all saw, didn't we, Mark, that video of Nick Saban talking to uh, a group and mentioned uh, the, to having receivers that were in the national championship game who had not really paid attention to detail and they weren't as ready to play as they should have been. And that really cost them and the team an opportunity. So the question is, uh, will they be heeding his advice come spring? 